Hi, Norbu. Unfortunately, you suffer from something called AFib, also known as atrial fibrillation. AFib is when the upper two chambers of your heart are beating out of sync. This causes blood flow to be poor in your lower two chambers. Your symptoms of weakness, reduced ability to exercise, shortness of breath, and chest pain show that you have AFib. I would like to perform an electrocardiogram so I can make sure you have AFib. After the electrocardiogram, I would like to perform an echocardiogram to check for any blood clots that may be in your heart. Since you experience trouble exercising, I would like to perform a stress test on you so we can run tests on your heart while you're exercising. There are two medications that I would recommend you taking. One reduces blood clots, which will reduce your chances of a stroke. This medication will also increase your risk of bleeding, however. I would recommend a newer anticoagulant because they are very effective and you won't have to go in for a monthly blood test, which can definitely be a hassle. The second medication that I would recommend for you is a heart rate controlling medication since you showed rapid heart rate. The only option for surgery is called an open heart maze procedure. In this procedure, your normal heart rate would be restored, made by cuts in the upper part of your heart and then sewed together with scar tissue. This interferes with the transmission of the electrical impulses that cause AFib. This surgery is, however, very expensive, so you'd have to see if you can afford it. Many treatment plans for AFib are expensive, so if you are looking for a cheap way to manage it, there are some lifestyle changes that you can make. You should develop a diet that is low in sodium and fat, and also reduce your intake of vitamin K, for example, foods like broccoli and fish, because these can cause more blood clots. I know you drink frequently on the weekends, but lowering your alcohol intake will heavily reduce your risk of having an episode. You should talk with your family about what treatment option works for you and your financial status. AFib is something that is manageable, but you have to keep an eye on it. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Good luck.